Hey, Sean here from SpeedCubeView.com. Let's learn how to solve a 2x3x3 two by three by three cuboid. Now, this is a good step into any sort of cuboid, and a cuboid is something that is not a cubic shape, really. It's something that's maybe a 2x3x3, 2x2x3, 2x3x4, something like that. One thing to note with this is that the right, left, front, and back can only turn 90 degrees, because if it's turned 180, nothing else will move. So let's just scramble this up. So first thing what you want to do is take care of corners and get all white on one side and all yellow on one side. So this should be more of an intuitive process for like if I just had this white one here, um, I know I can move it down there and then move it back up. If you want to know an algorithm for it, that if you just have to swap two of these, you can do something like R2, U, R2, U prime, R2. And that's going to swap yellow and white. But that, that part should be pretty intuitive. Next thing you want to do is put the corners in the right spot. Permutate them, or permute them. So for here, I don't have any headlights. So I'm going to have to do this twice on this layer. What it's going to do is swap these two corners on the back. So you, all you have to do is R2, F2, U, F2, U prime, R2, U, F2, U prime, R2. And then a U prime to line it back up. So, same thing I want to do on this side, so I'm going to put those in back and do again R2, F2, U, F2, U prime, R2, U, F2, U prime. R2. And there we go. So let's do the same thing on the yellow side. We have two headlights here, but not here. So again, R2, F2, U, F2, U prime, R2, U, F2, U prime. Come on. R2. And there we go. So we have all the corners lined up. Next thing you want to do is get all the edges in the correct layer. And now what this is going to do is swap. This algorithm is going to swap the one in the very front bottom and back top. And this one, you're going to do a B2, but then D2, R2, D2, R2, D2, R2, B2. There we go. And you just have to do that a couple times to get all of those down. Last thing now is to permute the edges. And there's two algorithms for that. One, swaps opposite, which is much shorter, and one that swaps adjacent. So the orange and green. So all this is is R2, U2, R2, U2, R2, U2. Then the adjacent one, it's a little bit longer. So what you're going to do is front and right, it's going to do R2, U, R2, R2, U, R2, U2, R2, U2, R2, U, R2, U prime, R2. Again here, we've got two adjacent there and there. So R2, U, R2, U, R2, U2, R2, U2, R2, U, R2, U prime, R2. And lastly, there you go. So only a couple new algorithms to learn for this. They're not too difficult. And if you expand something from this to let's say do a two by three by four, or actually a three by three by four, it's very similar and uses almost the exact same algorithms for a lot of the parts. Now, if you look up algorithms for this, usually for the R, L, F, and B, they don't say R2. They just say R because you can only move it 180 degrees. I like saying R2 just because it's easy for me to remember, and I think it makes more sense for people just starting out looking at this. But just note that if you're looking up different algorithms. So, thank you for watching. Please leave your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Hit like and subscribe for more content like this in the future, and as always, stop by speedqbview.com for more news and reviews.